Now, the press has always wanted to be a king maker, going all the way back to John Adams versus Thomas Jefferson. And for a while there, the press, the media did forge presidents into office, JFK being the best example of that. But today, it's a totally different story as the press is disintegrating. And the best example of this is Donald Trump, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So, once again, Trump is dominating American politics, this time in the criminal justice system. He's been charged with 77 felony counts. Did you know that? 77. I had to add them up this morning. All right, that's in the January 6th case, in the classified documents case, and the New York City situation uh, with uh, far left guy DA Alan Bragg, Alvin Bragg. Uh, next up is Georgia, and he's going to be charged with felony interference in the election there, the presidential election. So this is way out of control. I mean, you don't file 77 felony charges, you just file it down. Okay, I mean, th but this is all to demonstrate what a rogue and how out of control Donald Trump allegedly was, okay? So what's interesting about this is all generated by Democrats. Every single charge. Merrick Garland's the attorney general. He appoints a special prosecutor, prosecutor Jack Smith. Smith is a Democrat. Bragg is a Democrat. The Fulton County DA in Georgia is a Democrat. It's all the other party doing this. No independent investigations at all. Very important. Because in the long run, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. None of these investigations were independent. None of them. The fix was in. That is not to say that Donald Trump is not guilty. Clearly, he should have returned the documents he kept at Mar-a-Lago to the National Archives when they requested that. Should have done it that day, clearly. On January 6th, the important thing here is there's no mention of him promoting insurrection. Remember, that was the second impeachment. No mention of it in Smith's indictments. So he didn't promote insurrection or anything to do with the Capitol attack, according to the special prosecutor. What he allegedly did do was foment unrest in this country because he said the election was a fraud. And Smith says he can prove that Trump knew what he was saying was false. I don't believe he can prove that because I talk to Trump all the time. He has never wavered in one of my conversations with him. He believes the election was rigged because that's what he wants to believe. It comes back to that once again. Read my message of the day. Biden's doing the same thing on the Hunter front. Same exact thing. Okay. Now, moving forward, all of this stuff is going to evolve in one way or another. And in, Federal courts are going to be involved. Uh, the first thing is moving the venue on January 6th out of Washington, D.C., where Trump can't possibly get a fair trial. The judge is a Democrat who has made anti-Trump statements. He can't. He can't. Now, the Trump lawyers are going to file for a change of venue. If that's turned down, then it goes to the appellate federal division and on and on and on up to the Supreme Court if they hear it. And the same thing's going to happen in Malago, although that's a much clearer cut case than the January 6th thing. Now, Trump himself should be letting his lawyers litigate this, but he isn't because he can't constrain himself. Roll the tape. The prosecutor in the case, I will call it our case, is a thug. I've named him Deranged Jack Smith. His record is absolutely atrocious. 
He does political hit jobs. He's a raging and uncontrolled Trump hater, as is his wife. Now, why? Why is the former president doing that? All his supporters already know that or believe that. All right, the press is just going to paint him as an out of control renegade nut. And the rest of America, oh, if you don't know the two sides and the battle lines by now, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. So I don't know why Donald Trump is doing that. Let surrogates do that. Doesn't do you any good. A lot of that tape's going to be played in the courtroom in front of the jury. And remember, the jury are all going to have to be morons. <laughs> They're all going to have to be people who have no blanket idea what's happening in this country with Trump or anybody else. Okay, now, one more thing in the memo. As I wrote yesterday, and again, I really hope you read the columns, called FYI on BillOReilly.com. The press has lost credibility, it's lost power, it's lost readers, it's lost viewers. I give you the stats. There's no doubt about it. There's no two sides to the story. This is why you're watching and listening to me, a totally independent news agency, because you can't trust the corporate news agencies. They will not tell you the truth. An example, CNN on Friday, three days ago, ran this clip. Go. So he had said something to the effect of, I don't want people to know we lost, Mark. This is embarrassing. Figure it out. We need to figure it out. I don't want people to know that we lost. Okay, that woman is Cassidy Hutchinson, who has already been discredited. She hates Donald Trump. She worked in the White House for a short time. She's the one who said Trump was sitting in the back of the presidential limo and lunged at a Secret Service guy who was driving the car, which is physically impossible to do. That's who that was. Yet CNN knows she's a Trump hater. This is hearsay. That tape was leaked by a Democrat on one of the House committees to CNN, yet they ran it anyway. Okay, come on, you know. Uh, so let's just recap here. The whole country's in turmoil. America's in turmoil. We've been laughed at by our enemies in Russia and China and Iran. Uh, we may have a presidential election featuring two guys under indictment. I mean, I don't think Joe Biden's going to make it, but Trump isn't going to resign. He'll be there. And he may will, very well win the Republican primary. And that's the memo. Now, this week, in fact, I think it's tomorrow, August 8th, Richard Nixon resigned the presidency. Go. I have never been a quitter. To leave office before my term is completed is abhorrent to every instinct in my body. But as president, I must put the interests of America first. So he, uh, he had to leave Nixon because he was going to be impeached and convicted, all right, in the uh, Watergate mess. He was going to be impeached and convicted there. He knew it. And that if he didn't leave, he would have been charged with crimes because the tapes in the White House clearly demonstrated that Nixon was part of the cover-up of the Watergate affair. And if you don't know what the Watergate affair is, I'm not going to waste everybody's time going back on it, but it, you know, it was a crime. It was a campaign crime. Okay. And, it, and he didn't order it, but he, when he found out about it, he tried to cover it up and get money for the guys who were arrested and on and on. So Nixon knew he was toast. He also knew that Gerald Ford was going to be vice president uh, because Agnew, his original vice president, he had to leave because he was convicted of bribery, Agnew. So he was booted. And then Gerald Ford became vice president for with the Speaker of the House. Okay, and so th that's the stair step. But Nixon knew Ford was going to pardon him before any criminal charges could be brought, and it's exactly what happened. Nearly everything we do causes inflammation. Playing golf, tennis, basketball, pickleball, 
even some of the food we eat, our bodies are in a constant battle against inflammation. And the older you get, the more it hurts. This is exactly why I want to tell you about a revolutionary relief. It's a natural alternative to fighting inflammation and pain management. Their plant-sourced active ingredients have been thoroughly tested. Rev Relief has soft gels that fight inflammation on the inside. These are great to add to your daily routine. They also have a topical roll-on for instant relief on the outside. Think of this as something you can keep in your golf bag. And right now, my audience has a limited time discount. The first 1,000 orders will get the roll-on completely free. This will not last, so please go to Rev, R-E-V, relief.com slash bill. That's Rev, relief.com slash bill. Hunter Biden might be charged under the Foreign Corruption Practice Act. I told you about this. We all already analyzed this. Foreign Corruption Practice Act. Okay. So I got a letter from uh, one of our lawyer viewers, Adele Awatros, in Washington State. And she says, uh, has anyone ever been charged or prosecuted under that act? Well, yes. A number of people will give you two of the most recent. Uh, in May of this year, a man named Carrie Yan, former president of a non-governmental nonprofit, sentenced to three years, six months for paying bribes to people in the Marshall Islands. Okay, so Carrie is in uh, clink. Then January of this year, a um, 58-year-old, uh, what's his name, Murillo, he took bribes to get a contract from the Bolivian government, okay? And uh, his last name is Murillo. I'm looking to see if the first name is on here, and I cannot find it. And that's a producer problem that I will deal with. So this guy, he bribed the Bolivian government to give him a contract, and he's now serving 70 months in prison. That's just two. We have a whole long list. So that's absolutely viable. Smart life. So I got a very nice letter from a concierge member, and I've been telling you this is a life insurance policy for you if you get into trouble. Here's the letter. All right, I'm going to withhold the man's name because we don't do that for concierge. Everything is private. A few weeks ago, you saved me a lot of money on insurance by suggesting a website where I could compare pricing. My home and auto insurance had doubled, but thanks to you and your Smart Life segment, I've now cut my homeowner and autos nearly in half with a new policy. Therefore, I am going to take a small portion of that savings to upgrade my membership to Lifetime Concierge. Well worth the money. Okay, so the website uh, that we recommended is Policy Genius, one word, policygenius.com. And on this website, you can then search all the different rates for all the different insurance companies. This is what you have to do. Right. I'm getting gouged and it's really caused me an inconvenience. So now I'm searching around to try to get some kind of fair deal. So policygenius.com. In addition, we have saved a lot of people a lot of money by recommending gasbuddy.com. Gasbuddy, one word. You go to that website and you put in your zip code. They'll tell you where the cheapest gas is. All right. We are in business to make it easier for you to prosper. So thank you very much, uh, concierge member from Texas. We urge all of you to check that concierge membership out on BillOReilly.com. It is there to help you. As you may know, Mike Lindell has a passion to help everyone get their best sleep of their life. He didn't stop by simply creating the best pillow. Mike also created the Giza Dream bed sheets made from the world's best cotton. They look and feel great, come in a variety of sizes and colors. This means you get a great night's sleep, crucial for people like me with a busy schedule. My Pillow's bed sheets are ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. They also come with a 60 day money back guarantee and a 10 year warranty. Mike's latest incredible deal is the sale of the year for a limited time. Receive 50% off the Giza Dream Sheets. Get a set for as low as $29.98. 
So please call 1-800-869-0298 and use promo code BILL. Or you can go to MyPillow.com and again, use promo code BILL. Here is the final thought of the day, very brief. I don't call President Trump. He calls me occasionally. The next time he calls, I will tell him this. If he asks, I don't intrude. Number one, you need the best constitutional lawyer in the country, as I said early in a broadcast. Number two, think about the Mar-a-Lago thing. See if you can work that out. You get that off your plate, the Supreme Court much more likely to come in and rule that this is a political prosecution. And third, don't need any more personal attacks. You can defend yourself, and I hope you do in every rally you have. Defend yourself. But the personal attacks at this point don't do you any good. That's it. Final thought. We'll see you on Monday. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.